What's up, YouTube? This is Otis RHW. Uh, this is a quick how to video on how to get Backrounder. Backrounder is an application that allows you to multitask on an iPhone. I'm not sure if it works on an iPad. This is the first time I'll be trying it. So we will find out. So you go to go to search down here and then type in backgrounder up here I just wanted to type the whole thing in it showed up a lot earlier but so there it is you see that one that says 2x only you don't want that one if you're on 3.1.2 or 3.1.3. Don't get the one that says 2x only. So here it is. I'm going to let the description load. It takes a minute. Okay, so here's the description. Run iPhone applications in the background. Backgrounder is a mobile substrate based extension to Apple's Springboard application launcher that allows applications to run in the background. Applications are normally terminated upon suspension. Um, then basically you can go into more info oh wait they don't even have more info in here but so that's what you do now you go up here and click install then click confirm it's gonna load the package just so you guys know don't put iFile on the iPad it doesn't work now you click reboot the device if you put iFile on the iPad, it'll lock it up, it'll change the whole screen, Cydia won't work anymore. So just a heads up on that, that was one of the first uh, Cydia apps I tried was um, iFile and it's obviously made for the iPhone because it just wasn't working. It, it got into the files and everything but it didn't work correctly and it actually locks up the device a little bit you can't do anything in Cydia after you install it okay so there it is backgrounder and then it's, it says welcome to backgrounder warning any changes made to preferences will cause Springboard to restart upon exit. That's no big deal. Alright, so then you go global. Make sure background presets are on. And I like to turn the badge on so you know when they're... The badge means um, it shows you the little spinning wheel in the corner of the app to make sure that you know it's running. Okay, so we'll go back here control you can pick how to control it double press quickly press the home button twice short hold press and hold the home button single press press the home button once shake the device sleep button um, see there's all these options of how to change it slide gestures springboard um, status bar you can change it with all these you can open this application with all these different ones <laughs> right now the default is short hold so I'm gonna leave it at that so now we'll close out of this application it's gonna restart the springboard like it said it was gonna do And now backgrounder should work. And let's go ahead and try that. I'll open up Cydia. 
which would normally close when you hit the home button. And I'm going to do a short hold on the home button down here. And it said background enabling. And now as you can see the little status wheel is rolling there. So now I'm going to open another app. Let's go to photos. I don't think photos run in the background typically. I have no photos because I just restored it because iFile screwed it up. So, but still I'm going to do a short hold. Background enabling. So now you'll see the little wheel on the photos. Okay, so now let's say I was in Cydia and I wanted to go to the other one. I just hold that down. Now I can open that. And City is still doing what it's doing in the background. I don't really recommend using Cydia in the background. Like, I wouldn't install applications and have um, Cydia running in the background installing applications because it's getting into the file system. I don't know how safe that is to run an uh, application like that in the background. Um, if you're doing like something like install us and you want to download an application in the background, that's fine and dandy. Um, you could go ahead and do that. I'm just going to pick the... I don't even know what this is, but we'll try this. Hopefully this isn't another... Oops, I accidentally touched that. Oh. Well, it's appscene.org, so it's probably 750. Yeah, let's go back to something else. Let's see, like I said, App Tracker's pretty much turning everything into you gotta pay for their membership on, uh, or pay for the membership on AppScene to get it. Let's go to Marine Sharpshooter, try this one. Hopefully I don't have to look through five of these. These are all app scene. Not all the app scenes are premium. I think maybe the people that upload stuff. I'm gonna go back and try another one. <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm tired. It's 5 in the morning right now. Alright, so... Let's try this. Okay, here's another one. This one will work. Oh, I accidentally touched the advertisement. Okay, so down here you add the catchphrase, sock, then click submit, now click download, <coughs> whoops, I accidentally touched the ad or something, again, so enter the catchphrase, this time it's mice, Okay, now be real careful. Okay, well, this is the kind that you have to copy and paste. This is ridiculous. Sorry, I guess I could have checked the application before I did the video. Well, basically, you get the idea of how to do it. Alright, so thanks for watching.